Thanks very much for being here on the broadcast with us. Uh, Chris, let me begin by asking you for your initial reaction uh, to what we are seeing playing out here. What do you make of all this? The situation in the West Bank is terrifying. Of course, it comes against the backdrop of nearly 11 months of utter horror within Gaza itself, where you've seen 90 percent of the Palestinian population in that enclave having been forcibly displaced and well over 40,000 killed and the outbreaks of diseases such as polio that had been eradicated. But in the West Bank, what we're seeing is now a further escalation with what is uh, the largest Israeli military invasion of the occupied West Bank since 2002 at the height of the Second Intifada. And it involves a huge force deployment into a number of key Palestinian cities and refugee camps, including actually putting a hospital in Jenin under siege. And many Palestinians fear that what has been happening in Gaza, where we've seen so much of the civilian infrastructure, whether it's hospitals, schools, universities, mosques, and churches being destroyed, that this is actually what will happen further down the line for the West Bank. It's some way off that, but just to remind you that the situation in the West Bank is extremely serious. Over 630 Palestinians have been killed since last October. We are seeing a record amount of settler violence. The settlers are working in conjunction with the Israeli military to brutalize, use violence to force Palestinian communities out of their homes and villages into the cities. And we are also seeing a huge surge in the number of these illegal settlements that Israel has built in occupied territory itself, a war crime, a very serious violation of international law. So we are seeing the last thing that anybody with any sense of responsibility should want to see, and that is another front being escalated and driving the region further towards the cusp of an all-out war, which would be so devastating, not just for Israelis and Palestinians, but the wider region. Uh, Chris, with the Israeli ministers accused of incitement, what uh, do you make of what uh, Joseph Borrell has said? Well, Israeli ministers actually since last October, in the wake, of course, of those dreadful Hamas attacks on Israelis, uh, where over 1,200 Israelis were killed, many of them did make very insightful comments, some genocidal comments promising to visit upon Palestinians a new Nakba, that is a reference to what happened in 1948 when 70% of Palestinians lost their homes. Others said we're coming to flatten Gaza, to settle Gaza, uh, that we are you know, going to turn areas of it into a parking lot. But also recently we've seen certain comments about the West Bank that they would actually uh, forcibly displaced populations. They claim to allow them back, but Palestinians who know their history very well have heard all of that before, that they would be, uh, uh, you know, told that if they leave temporarily, they could come back. They know that that is very unlikely. So we have seen a lot of this. We have seen, you know, settler violence go completely unpunished. If there is and it very rarely happens, any sort of investigation. It, it is really, even Israeli human rights organizations say very clearly that it's largely a sham, it's for show. Uh, the Israeli army has been assisting those settlers in doing it. And there's been widespread reference at times to pogroms in areas like Hebron, uh, south of Nablus in the West Bank, where great mobs of armed settlers, uh, they are armed, beyond really any form of control, will go and smash up shops, cars, set them alight, intimidate, harass, beat up Palestinians, yet again, to promote the idea that they should leave, leave either their villages or even the West Bank uh, as a whole. And of course, that is also what they want to see within Gaza, as many Palestinians leaving the whole area as possible. Chris, we're leaving it there for the moment. Thanks very much for joining us uh, on the broadcast Thank you. Thank you. and sharing your Thank perspectives. You to stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.